One of the worst feelings in Dota 2, which I think almost every player must have experienced or went through it, which also in fact is one of the top reasons that a lot of players quit Dota for good, or they might even take a break for about two to three months, or even they after this experience, they might not be attracted to Dota as much as they would be before, which is when you lose a large number of MMR. Yes, I know that everyone must definitely have always have their red streak going on where game after game after game they keep losing, they keep losing, they're trying to win more but they end up keep losing again and again and suddenly you realize that wow, I've almost lost like 400, 500 uh, MMR in like 3 to 4 days and you know what, it's a kind of a depression. I know that people they are not able to recover from this and you know and the the end result is not good at all so recently me my, my i myself i actually went through it i actually lost about 300 mmr i know you know like um when it comes to immortal rank it's it's kind of i wouldn't say common but uh, you know things happened i maybe i was not focused enough or whatever the reason was so i just want to share this thing that uh before previously i w i have actually lost the, the the largest difference that i did was about 900 mmr it was back when i was around 5.5k uh, and i went back to 4.6k yes however i still managed to recover and come back and hit 6k again or for the first time i'm sorry and then now i went from about like 6.1k to 5.8k so I want to share something what I do or what I feel like worked out for me best and I think a lot of players should do that because trust me you know if you are on the red streak there are a lot of chances that you might not play the game anymore or you might just go for another game or whatever so there are a couple of things that I like to do when I'm on a very big red streak the first thing is first I stop playing ranked game and I start playing normal turbo game and what's the logic behind this that imagine you're eating pizza. Your favorite food is pizza, right? Let's say every weekend you eat pizza. Now imagine that every day you start to eat pizza. What's gonna happen? You might become getting tired to eat pizza. Rank game is something like this. That's why I'm completely against when you know I see a lot of players they play like 8 to 10 MMR games, rank games every day. I'm like that's not gonna work out. Why? Because when you play a rank game after a certain let's say one or two days gap, or maybe even after some time you are hungry you you know what you go into the game and you're like you know what i'm gonna crush this game i'm just gonna pick my best hero and i'm just gonna win everything i'm gonna be the carry the support the mid the off the safe i'm just gonna be one man army right that kind of hunger is important because rank games are treated like pro games you know like people think that you know um rank is something very crucial especially when it comes to ancient divine and immortal rank right so if you are playing let's say you played first two games with the, the great hunger that you had and you lost right you will start to play third and fourth game your energy levels or your decision making levels will not be the same at all trust me that's why a lot of pro players you know when they are going to tournaments they stop practicing and the reason behind is that because they want to have that hunger that that, that new environment so the best thing to do is stop playing rank start playing normal or turbo games or whatever and then come back and trust me you will feel better you will you will think that i started with a fresh start and that is really important you need a fresh start that's the key here a fresh start is gonna guarantee or it's gonna be the way to success to getting back that lost mma right so make sure that point number two play with your friends the best second option is to start playing with your friends immediately and trust me you know what that does is it changes the environment first of all instead of losing minus 30 if you lose with your friends it's gonna be minus 20 and that's like let's say better than losing you know 30 mmr but when you play with your friends maybe your friend is a good player and maybe you kind of feel like you are getting i don't want to say boosted but you feel like your friend might be carrying your burden so it's always good that you play with a friend you kind of share the pressure and it ends up you meaning you playing better and also maybe for example you are an ancient three player and your friend is a legend four or five or a two player so maybe you might go into different bracket meaning you say you're gonna play with different level of heroes different level of players and hence maybe a different environment a diff different atmosphere so that may be the key that you're looking for 
this again will give you a fresh start a fresh feeling because in order to recover the lost mmr you need a fresh start you need a fresh recovery so playing with your friends will give you that and you know definitely uh when you play with friends the game is more energetic you feel much better so overall it's always a good thing to play with your friends so start doing these two things guys trust me because i know that losing mmr is a big deal for a lot of players and that's how the entire concept of boosting comes into play because of these reasons and also you know I, I know that people might complain that oh i'm losing mmr because of my teammates are bad or whatever the reason is you need to keep that aside and try to do the best out of the situation so i hope you like the video guys um you know if you like my channel make sure to subscribe and like you know all the 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 normal trending so anyhow guys until next time peace